When you buy a H&T Gordon bench plane like this little smoother here, and it doesn't have an adjuster, it'll come with a small block of wood, we call a setting block. Just ensure it's nice and flat by rubbing it on a flat surface. Then sit your plane on the block of wood, place your blade carefully into position, just drop the wedge in, don't push it with your fingers, choke your little, and it must be a small mallet, and tap with a series of small taps in the middle of your wedge. Rather, don't do any big tapping. Then sight down the sole. If it looks good, we'll do a test on a piece of wood. And as you can see, you can get a very, very fine shade. Get the most out of your H&T Gordon smoother or trying plane, which has no, no uh, mechanical adjustment. It just uses the wedge system to hold the blade with a little mallet. To release the blade, I just tap it lightly there and it will come apart. Now, set it up, same as before. Sit it on the flat block of wood. Drop the wedge in. Choke your little mallet so you don't hit the wedge hard. A series of taps like that. Now, turn over the plane and sight down the sole. Now I can just see the blade, but I want to gauge what size shaving I'm getting. It's quite fine and I think it's a little bit high on the left hand side. So with a mallet, I can just sight down if you have a light background and just tap the blade there to bring it across to square it up. Right. Now I can just see a little black line telling me my blade square. Just check that that's correct. No, it's still a little bit high on the left hand side. So just, if necessary, tap a little bit harder to get the response you want. Now it has retracted when I did that. So now I'm tapping at the bottom of, or the top of the blade. Now you don't have to tap it very hard to get a change in depth. And just give it a light tap there and you can see now we've got a very even but thicker shaving. We can go thicker again, same deal. Light taps and you can watch the blade move in and out and you can see we're in a much thicker shaving. When you're learning it's not a bad idea to tap the blade well through so you can get a good clear vision of the blade. If you're having trouble seeing the, the blade, put a white piece of paper down and that white will reflect on the sole and highlight the black line outlining the blade. It helps a lot when you're learning. Now I can, I've got a nice clear vision of that blade. To retract it, I put my thumb on the wedge, very important, and tap the body just here. If, I, if it's the blade is uh, laterally adjusted correctly, tap it in the middle. If it's high on one side, you can actually tap on there or there, but most uh, commonly you will tap it in the middle, very lightly. So siding down the sole, watching my blade, and just give a little tap to... Uh, and you can see in that case I've gone too far, so we'll try that again. So tap. Now I can see the blade again, so I'm just going to give a light tap. And we're back to that super, super fine shaving. That's probably less than a thousandth of an inch. Now, make sure you have, if you wear glasses, make sure they have a focal length equal to about 30 centimetres, 300 millimetres. If you can't see the blade clearly, it will be very difficult to adjust a plane like this, or any plane for that matter. You've got to be able to see that blade, make sure you have lateral adjustment as well as depth adjustment. If your plane is 
not performing well, quite often it is your lateral adjustment isn't right. So always assess your shaving and say, right, it's high on one side. I need to tap that across. Same with a, um, a metal plane that has a lateral adjustment. You have to ensure you get that right uh, along with the, the depth adjustment. Otherwise, your plane will not perform to a high standard, which is what we require to get no tear out on a piece of wood.